choice. They are warmed up now. Just there's no point in making uh, life more difficult for yourself. Just start on the seat side, get a few rounds on the board, get the ball rolling, um, and then obviously we'll see what happens with um, to Liquid. One thing, one thing to note during the Phaser event when Liquid was playing, I gave them a very hard time on this map. There were so many rounds that they could have won that they just basically threw out. I'm, I'm honestly hoping that that's, well, that will not be the case this game. I like that adrenaline. Adrenaline's gone back to adrenaline. I haven't seen him play with that handle in years. With the yep. full name typed out. But smoke out already on the window. Bounces a little bit late and deep, but Alu's still just spamming at the corner. And this is where Nitro comes into play. He's the one to work the underpass and try and get into connector. And already he's there with the Tech 9. So quick work, but no one to support it. And that means Forrest gets the first shot. Exist comes in with the second before Fugly can finally get back. And it's a Liege that rotates early out of B site. But again, they're coming back into this round now as Adren's going to find out. Freiburg, Exist has to hold this A-side alone, waits for Get Right, but he's on the perfect flank position, not splitting up, but unable to take down Fugly on the first approach. Eventually he does get him, but it's a lead to bring it back to a one-on-one. -on -one. Low HP on both players, or mid HP, I should say. Finally, Exist does go down to 36. So a with a slight upper hand here, but now he's tagged to 18, and Exist wins it. NIP will get the pistol round. Yeah, and... Um a split coming in from Liquid. Uh, Elish actually there. He, he got boosted on into the, um, the sniper's nest, and I think it was a little bit late because they they ran into connector. And the idea is when they when you run into the connector, uh, Elish should be uh, flanking the guy from uh, from jungle. Uh, by the time that you know they they're getting the, the picks, that didn't necessarily happen. They lost two men. Then obviously uh, Liquid uh, managed to get a few rounds or frags on the board, but it was a little bit too late. The, the time was a little bit off, uh, but it could have gone either way. So we see a direct upgrade to the M4 for Exist, who closed out the round. Scout out for a liege, oh, and that's the uh, the Canadian Scoot Oot we were talking about. Scoot Oot. It's going to be out early. We'll see if he can contribute with it. But so far, passive setup, looking like they want to hit the B apartments eventually. But Halu already slowing down a liege, so the scout's not going to get any damage done even, in fact. So we'll see if Get Right can hold. He's got the P90 dropped right away, though, as a Dren comes through. His Forest does get Flow Sick in return, and Fugly trades it back, so double refrag. Leaves them only down one man, but Bomb Plant, more importantly, going to go down. Is it going to last? It is. So they'll get this to Fuse. Alu does close on both, but money in the bank. Not a bad round for Liquid from that perspective. Yeah, I mean, when you end up buying the, the second round and obviously not winning the round, most important thing is to get the Bomb down, because at least now you have a full save. The next round, uh, Adran can still buy the op. Not getting the Bomb down would not be able to the next round. So uh, even though they lost the round, getting the Bomb down is very crucial. The op out already for Alu in just round three against Pistols. So he has to be careful how he plays with it. They need to at least make sure that that's grabbed into the next round, even if Alu goes down. Look at this, though. If they go very fast towards B here, Freiburg's all alone. Or Get Right, even. Yep. Be nice. Get Right back there. That's We saw him here last round, only able to get the first one, and then was immediately dropped. He's already spraying through the fire in place. The incandescence a little bit too bright for him to spot players, but now we'll see them in the middle of the reload. Luckily, Alu's there to hit the shot with the op from the catwalk, and now he throws in an aid. Alu coming up massive right now as he picks up the triple. Forrest adds the last, and get right, is he finally gonna get one, having been the person under immediate threat? Does close out the round, but the guns are gonna come up from Liquid now. Yeah, uh, we will see a pause here. We had uh, Fugly leaving the server. Uh, but yeah, Liquid, uh, for, for NIP's part here, get right, who's gonna, he's gonna keep them, uh, P the P90. Doesn't really matter on the B bomb site. Freiburg might actually keep the SMG as well, just to try and like push uh, a ramp, getting a flash over, just trying to get the initial pick, uh, see if they can catch liquid, liquid off guard. It's really up to them now if they actually, if they if they know that this is happening, because this uh, this is very common nowadays where you actually keep the SMGs because they are very strong even w when you are actually playing versus armored people. So yeah, you will actually see um, an aggressive play coming in from an IP here. Fugly's already back. We're already underway. So no long delays this time. And get right, like you said, gonna go right back into the B site with that P90. We've already got a drop down to cover off underpass. In fact, it's an aggressive play now from NIP. As Forrest and Exist will push up middle, they'll catch a Dren. And the next trade comes back out, though. It's a Liege that gets the kill. Finally, Exist gets him, but he's alone in mid. He turns back, manages to take down Fugly. Has to be careful because Nitro's re entering. And he collects both he and Alu, who came over to support from Connector. So it's looking good here for Liquid, but as I say that, it's get right to take down Nitro eventually. It's now a two on one. Flowsick has the high HP position here. Full 100, but as does Get Right, he's a little bit later on the rotation. But Flosick doesn't have the advantage of having the bomb. He has to recover that from middle right now, and already that's being camped on by Freiburg, who interestingly enough has picked up the AWP. Yeah, I mean, he had the SMG and he has 14 HP, so picking up the AWP here, uh, it's a very solid decision, knowing that the bomb is down as well. Missed the shot, doesn't really matter. You have Get Right there to help him out as well, so you can't even run towards Freiburg if you want to. Missing another as that flash came over, but Get Right, like you say, is there. 
Yeah, playing it very smart. Uh, knowing that the bomb is now Freiburg, very low on HP. The, the secondary peak there, get right flash for him so he could he can afford to peak one more time. Problem was that he got flashed himself. But again, uh, for, for even Flowstick to even try to get get towards Freiburg, you have to actually run through uh, Gethright's uh, crosshair placement, and you, you're going to end up with uh, potentially losing the round, which, which, which would happen. And like we keep in mind, we, we casted them on and f at face it on this map, and they had some issues. They also, at the qualifier for Katowice, way back against Flipside, lost out on this map. It's been a bit of an issue, but they glue it so much. It's kind of like C9 and Inferno, maybe not quite that level where they're stubborn about it, but... They've definitely been playing this map a lot, so they've been improving it into this one quickly. Again, this time just an anti-eco. Pretty successful, pretty straightforward. A take doesn't even really get anywhere, so no bomb down. But Liquid will still have money to buy. Yeah, and um, X is actually the guy so far for the NFP that's been very showing promise. Uh, going middle, picking up the 2k. Uh, previous round, picking up a bunch of frags, winning the pistol round for them as well. Uh, so he seems to be on point right now. For Liquid Spot right now, yeah, they do have the off on Adren again, uh, which is great. Just try and, uh, tr try to try, try and pick Alu uh, out here in middle. Try to get some mid control. Force getting aggressive. A, he's going to take down Adren. Meanwhile, we've got two players lurking up an apartment. So A is going to be completely shut down unless Flowstick can do that and beat them to the punch here. Because this might allow Nitro to work up connector given that two players are so far away. Get right all the way back in T spawn. But he's going to have company. Bomb's actually heading toward him, but he's busy looking toward Flowstick. He's going to find him and now realizes there's one beside him and Elise luckily has his gun out. As Get Right was not expecting company. But lots of information gained from GetRight's push. So Alu covers window just to make sure they can't get up toward middle. And Nitro hasn't made it through this smoke cover. Freiburg knows he's there. He's staring him down. And Nitro still gets the better of the kill. This will allow Flug Fugly to join him. Fugly actually goes back, catches Alu. So things are working out extremely well. As Exist all the way over at B has to rotate. Bomb's not yet planted, but it will be. Nitro may have already spotted him there, in fact. I almost get thrown off by the X-ray. Because we can definitely see it. So we assume they do, but... Hard to tell if he did or not. Either way, he's going to head over towards CT stairs. And Liquid may get back. This will reset the money bonus, keep in mind. But they will get back at least one round here against NIP. But Exist, he's going to try and prevent that. Would be quite a miraculous play, as he hasn't spotted anyone just yet. Bomb's already been ticking for a significant amount of time, and there it is. Elise will close it out. Yeah, uh, good round by Liquid. Uh, I'd run opting to go towards the, the A side instead with his off, getting picked down, but then uh, the re revenge frags coming in from Liquid. And... Um, one thing for Exist to note there, obviously, w one on three, the bomb has been out for 15 seconds. Uh, you just want to try and kill, so, kill some people there, just to, like you're saying, keep the economy low, because you reset the money bonus now. So if uh, Liquid potentially ends up losing this round, uh, if they had lost more people, they would not have any money. Because they already got the bomb down now, three survived. Even if they end up losing this round, they can, they're still going to be able to buy the next round. Efficiency is the name of it. Fugly's back toward mid. Molotov this time on window because they went for the close smoke to give them the position on catwalk. But Freiburg inside the site, only able to get the one. As Nitro this time isn't underpass, he's come directly in, in between and now he comes from Shadow. So they'll smoke off CT twice. Fugly finding Forest again gives them the man advantage. Elise has lots of time to plan as the smokes are fully deployed in every position. But Getlight comes back in and Alu over the top using the ticket booth to his advantage. He's now going to flash himself. But that's actually best for his teammates. As Exist finds Nitro looking to peek toward Connector, and it's all left to Adren. Low HP, easy first shot. Second one actually goes his way, and there's low HP on Get Right. He could actually win this exchange, but Get Right knows his angle and holds true. And they'll reset it again. Economy back to zero, but like you say, they'll be in an okay position. Yeah, uh, getting bombed down again, so. Um, yeah, that position, they got the bomb down. They actually used two smokes in CT spawn, but they didn't have anyone covering it. When you, knowing that Alu is. The, the, when he's uh, in the sniper nest, when he gets smoked off, especially when Forrest went down, I was going to be in CT spawn. Someone has to uh, hold that. Uh, and if you were just uh, had this guy, one guy on side just holding that angle, they would never lost that round. I like how the teams are making fun of the, the POV VODs from last week. The liar. Liar? About uh, Shroud when he called out for one was dinked for Freakazoid. Oh, Freiburg. Freiburg was a lot people lying about his HP there. But Nitro's now going to look toward Connector. So back to default for him. Interestingly, Forrest this time is the one to push up on the catwalk. Nitro gets caught by Freiburg, and Forrest has the other angle. Elise walks directly into his crosshair. So this time it's not going to plan for Liquid. They're not even going to get close as the bomb's already down. And they've just got this one remaining player, Fugly, with only the P250 left. As he looked to try and do damage to their economy, pick up a weapon perhaps and get away, he may not even have the option of doing that because Exist is close to his angle, already holding the position. Does decent damage to Exist, 6 HP, but still goes down. Yeah, and uh, here we're going to see a save coming from Liquid. 
moving forward now, after they, after they um, hopefully they're going to save uh, the, the next round, what you saw there, that, that round there, that the smokes that, that Liquid was placing in the middle is actually helping NIP out. It, it allowed Force to push out Catwalk, having cover from that smoke, being able to shoot towards uh, uh, the upper mid area, uh, getting a frag out of it, uh, not smoking off connector, uh, which makes it a lot easier for NIP to just have a lot of mid control because you're not smoking off the right, posi uh, right spots. So Forrest again on Catwalk. Doesn't have anyone peeking him directly. So he falls back to support on B. There's one solo lurk. It's Fugly. He's going to tank that nade. 65. Nice throw. Let's get right was the one to put that in position. Now we are starting to see a trend here from Liquid. Every eco that they have, they tend to go towards B. Now NIP's ready for it, though. You have Force. They're helping get right out as well. So this will not be pretty for, for Liquid, unless they get the initial frag here on get right. And here's the right-click flash. That drops immediately and pops perfectly for get right to peek his own play. And they're actually going to be close enough that Forrest is the first to get the kill. And now it's get right. One, two, goes to the pistol. Easy peasy. That flash is so well used. Yeah. Uh, and when you have an eco like that, yeah, sure, you didn't have any nades and whatever. But at least by one flash, you just rush it. Because chances are, you're not going to catch uh, a team like NIP off guard walking into B, uh, all three Ecos that you've had. So Nitro goes back to his AK, as does the rest of his team. Reasonable utilities. They've got four smokes still up. Nitro's got the Molotov. We'll see how they choose to deploy them as they put one on Catwalk already, and the second one in window at mid. This will allow Elise again to get to Ward Connector. But they have to win both sides of the site to make this work, and that smoke that is deployed at the top of Connector might hesitate and cause Elise to slow his push, but he's actually got a Dren supporting behind, throws for the flash through, but it's Exist to take down Nitro. Meanwhile, and Freiburg turning around has Flow Sick right behind him, but not before he takes down his teammate and Exist. And then the trades continue to go back and forth. It's a one-man advantage, three versus two for NIP. Make it even more than that. Elise goes down, it's left to a Dren. Bombs directly in front of him, so he will be able to recover this, but if he does, he becomes exposed. So far, no one peeking directly toward him now, and Alu does, has the op nine to one. Yeah, um, very unorthodox strat coming from Liquid. I like the fact that they actually did try something. They were like, okay, well, let's try something. Let's run through the smoke that they placed. Let's A split. Uh, NIP, though, so very solid A hold. The rotation was very fast. Uh, Freiburg actually ended up uh, missing the guy on balcony who ended up killing one guy on the side, which was Exist. But it turned out in their favor anyway. Good flashes coming in from NIP, just uh, solid a hold overall. Yeah, and like you said, counter smokes to go through them because it wasn't just the one on Connector that we saw. There was one on Palace, there was one on A-Ramp. So they had to go through from all three angles, which relies on a lot of flashes to go with it. So they slow things down again on this eco. Looks like it'll be a fast A take. You said that they were looking a little bit trendy going toward B every single eco, so they switch it up this time. Bit of a curveball. Yeah, this round that they're doing right now, we'd love to see that when they actually bought weapons. Do a smoke round like this. Running through its exist picks up close, rather, excuse me, Freiburg. As exist picks up two in the meantime in the obituary. Getting the bomb down that's is actually massive. I was yeah, that's massive. Because I don't, I don't know if there's a smoke in CT spawn. If there's not, then I have no idea how NIP left the slide. Came out fast from Palace to get the plant down, and they were definitely focusing on A main. So double digits already for NIP. This is more the game that you were projecting so far compared to the game that I said we might see potentially if Liquid showed up because it. I mean, even Moses has been making mention of it lately that Liquid, over the last two months, again, online, has been one of the better teams in North America, if not the best team in North America over the last two months online. So it was always going to be curious to see which team would show up this weekend, and hopefully they can pull this together. They've still got other games in the group, of course. Meanwhile, Freiburg, he gets up close again, wins the double. Nitro to get out, turns back. What a shot on Flosick. Mid-air drops him. Bomb's already down in his favor. He just has to sit on this side of the smoke. Adren wants to fight back through it. He's all that's left, because Fugly's gone to Forest. Freiburg, despite losing oh. some HP in the end, the 4K, that was beautiful. Yeah, that was great hold by Freiburg. I really do not agree with uh, Liquid's idea there, walking through the smoke. They did that before. Yeah, I understand you want to try and catch someone off guard, but at least, please, just use one flash. One flash. Freiburg would have been dead in that situation, and you would have ended up getting the A bomb site. Uh, nonetheless, for Freiburg, getting the two uh, initial kills there through the smoke, not, no big deal, really. It's the third one that was like just a coffin, just coff na na nailing the coffin. Yeah, that shot was nuts when he turned to 180. And we saw a spray control. We saw it all from Freiburg that round. As Forrest goes back towards Catwalk, get right again. He's actually going to be holding on from where Exist used to play, back all the way toward the van. And this time he's got the M4. We saw him here with the P90. We saw him here with the flash. Now we're going to see the nade go out. They're almost lined up, but he can't quite see through the smoke. 
And the I'll problem for Liquid here, here is a bit far back, actually, is on yeah, the side of the door. But just to interrupt you here, the problem here for Liquid is that they t now they're going towards B. Problem here is that they don't. Ha they, they didn't even take mid control. You see NIP there, just uh, based off radar. I can't see anyone. Can't see anyone. You might see just a flash fake from from the person holding A for Liquid, but they know that they're coming B. And they're already actually fading. Yeah, they're playing this to yeah. go back over as he gets on the catwalk, but it is going to be a bit of a fake here. Head back around. Exist is actually down below. Excuse me, so I misread that. Bombs dropped inside the flames, so they got to wait to recover that, but Nitro's working through as he wins the first kill. Turns back, doesn't realize Freiburg's that close, but Adren's there to get the refrag. And so bring it back in their favor. He's going to jump for the window. That nade goes out. Alu might get caught because he's looking the wrong direction, and Adren's timing is perfect. So now Lick would have a chance, but Forrest, what a placed bullet. Again, it's Flosick on the receiving end of it, and he's going to try and do more, but Fugly's there. And Get right finds himself in a one on two. Mr. Clutch. That not blown out. They may have heard that from where Adren's playing, although I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure he would have. But either way, the bomb's down. Adren's going to hold the angle when he crosses over inside the site. Fugly just play bait if he has to on the bomb. But not peeking, just watching towards CT. And Get Right's going to check every angle. In fact, he may catch off Adren right below him if Adren's not careful. Over the top, he does. So now he just has to win on Fugly, who's up close to the bomb. But nice peek by Fugly to take the fight. And Liquid will get their second round. Yeah, great call by Adren there to actually roast it back to A when. Uh, Exis managed to actually come from underpass, getting that initial pick, but then ended up going down. Just, just going fast towards A, that actually really, really paid off for them. If they would have just stuck with their plan, initial plan, just to go towards B, they would have been shut down. Um, so yeah, Exis's uh, aggressive play that actually paid off for Liquid. But again, just watching Liquid play, play right now, they're not, they're not really, um, they're not taking advantage of the fact that they're T on, on this map where you, you want the map control. You want to make sure that the CTs are always guessing. If you do that, it's going to be a lot easier for you. And Forrest going double up. To be apartments takes down Fogley. So Alu has mid. Dropped inside window. Late smoke from Elise. This will let him push up a little further. He knows Get Right's over to the right because he saw the flash come out. Hasn't been able to hit the shot. A little bit nervous, perhaps, actually. As he pre-fires the repeak, and he's a little bit scattered on his aim, but nonetheless, it's all NIP sense. It's down to just flow sick, and he's done. Gone, just like that. So things definitely going the way of NIP in spades right now. Yeah. Um, and Liquid, they have no money. It's going to be, obviously, it's the last round. It's going to be a force buy, buy some, some pistols and some armor, and, and the nades that you may need. Uh, for NIP's part here, the call will be, okay, watch out for a fast round. They're going to be very low on money. See the auto sniper on, on Nexus. We haven't seen that on him for a while, but... Uh, it's coming back. It's making a comeback. He's leading the way. Got 18 frags so far in the first 14 rounds. Let's see if we can use this auto sniper. I love that it's a 15th round buy. He's just like, whatever. I got the I money. Have, Let's yeah, just do I have it. so much money. I'm just going to end up buying I'm it. I'm rich. I won't finish it. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I thought you were. <laughs> I considered it. <laughs> I'm rich, Twitch? Maybe. That yeah. works. Uh, for, again, was, we see here them liquid go towards B again on, the, on, their, C, on their eco. Um, and you see NIP's positioning where you have Forrest in the back, the same position that they had last time. Actually, Getter even had the peak now, so he's going to know that this is coming. Sadly, that auto sniper oh, wow. over an A, but nice shot by Nitro, so we won't get to see it used, but Nitro already in. Forrest, though, he buys his time, stays patient, catches Nitro on the drop, realizes another one's gone down, but Adren's going to get him before he can do anything about it, so they've got the sight. We'll see if they can get this bomb down again. Not a lot of weapons. They've managed to get the Galil and AK still in action. Alu looking for the shot. He knows that nade came over from Plo6, so someone has to be on Van. And wait for his teammates to check the other angles. All three of them right now are inside Checker. As they try and come through, and Alu, nice shot on Plo6. There's the auto snipers. Exist now gets a drain, and they're all going to die. Freiburg takes down Fugly. It's just left to Elige. He has to just bait out the bomb, but they'll put the smoke on top of it. He may find the first, not even going to get that far as Alu is covering the angle. 13 to NIP. What a half. Yeah. Uh, looked like they would actually end up winning that round when Nitro was with the Tech-9, just slaughtering Getride on the, uh, in the B apartments. And that's what I was talking about the previous eco as well. If they manage to get Getride really fast into the round, they could potentially just uh, rush down force as well, get the bomb down, have a four on three, five on three, doesn't really matter, but you have the bomb down, you play it safe. Uh, that kind of s scenario there. Difference was that they actually started peaking. I don't know why, if they got nervous or whatever, but they had the bomb down, uh, just, just play it safe, you don't have to peek. Especially when you realize, well, they're actually not even pushing. Then just, just wait for them to actually come into you, and then... Because, again, you, you're, basically, you're basically defending now, right? You don't have to necessarily peek. By the way, that's McNutty that was behind Team Liquid. So he's sort of like a manager coach that doesn't go to all the events overseas with them, but interesting to see him here at this event. He's fairly local to Montreal. 
be interested to talk with him, see what things are like from his perspective on the team. Yeah. Maybe I'll grab a chance to... See a very fast play coming in from NIP. No nades, no nothing, just armor. And Forrest is already down through the window, yet to be stopped, but there's a Liege and Fugly, each getting a kill, but now it's back, and Forrest gets the second one still alive, looking for Flow Sick, and no one's toward the window yet to cover that off, so now Exist, with that kill, leaves a Dren in a really tight position, has to find a way back toward the site. As they are man down, Nitro still up this time, he was the first to drop in the first pistol round, and now he's all by himself. One on three, low HP on Alu. Bit of a chance to take that kill potentially, but Alu not necessarily going to be in the open. Yes, he is. He goes for the peak, so he's got the information for his teammates. But Nitro's still not close enough to make a case here as he goes for the shot. Not going to happen. Forrest distracts. Exist pops out from the side. Yeah, and I'll, I'll just show you an example there. You saw NIP's position. It was a two-on-one. The way that they were holding, so you had this one guy straight to the right. As soon as he gets contact, you're going to see that one guy push, uh, peeking from the bomb site, And that's what you want. Like, you want to play... You want during the afterplay position, you want to play these afterplans like crossfires so that there's really no chance that the person trying to retake the boss side will actually succeed. And Liquid know exactly what this score means and losing that pistol means, so instant force to try and come back as Three soon as scoots. possible. Three scoots. Going full Canada. That's down to 9 HP. They actually make it work. Fugly on the jump. The second approach takes down Freiburg. So Ali looking for an entry with the AK. Nice shot. Does get Nitro. That's one of the scouts down. They've still got the other two in play as Alu looking for more over the top. Has Flosik just edging out. Elise gets another on to get right. That's his second, but Adren's caught. Fugly still has the scout. Three versus two. Both coming from CT. Bomb looking to get planted. There's no smoke out on it, so Fugly actually has the chance to take one down. Make it now two. It's all left to Alu, but he's holding the angle with the AK. What can Fugly do? He's low HP. Fugly looking had the lineup, but Alu gets the kill. Just barely holds on with the quad and get right, or excuse me, NIP rather, get right. 15 to two. Yeah, and uh, that was looking very grim for NIP. Actually, Freiburg playing it way too overconfident, just walking towards B by himself, and, and the ending up uh, losing the um, losing his weapon. And it was a four on five, and you don't want that. Like, why would you go there yourself, right? It paid off. It worked out in the end. It's fifteen to two. Uh, again, Liquid with, with a force buy. And now we're going to see Elise having his own scout, just firing shots as he retreats to the safety of the jungle. Alu was looking rather aggressive toward him. It's all rifles out for NIP. Ugly aggressive in apartments. Going to re-smoke, looking for this Mag 7. We saw it come to fruition in the flip side game. We'll see if they can do the same thing again, because they've already come down catwalk. They're on both sides of him. They know he's in there, and he's got nowhere to go, nowhere to play. And it's Get Right that takes him down before Forrest catches a liege. We'll get more than that. A Dren over top the edge of the cinder blocks, just the head showing through the vent. It's all he needs to fire at. It's flow sick. It's Nitro, it's 15-2, and it might be all over as NIP take down the last. It's going to be Nitro to fall, and 16, there it is. NIP, that's what you were predicting. That was pretty dominant. Yeah, and, and the reason why I based off of that is that, yeah, Liquid might be playing well online. Um, they have a good show online. The difference is that Liquid, and this, this just speaks for itself, they don't know how to play versus Europeans. They might have a very good showing versus other American teams because, we, because they know how to play versus them. But when you end up playing a team like NIP, it doesn't really matter. I, 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 a top European team, you're going to struggle if you don't know what they, what they like to do or what, you know, what, what can we do to, to counter it. And obviously this comes with experience for the Team Liquid, uh, going to more international events, being able to compete versus other